Here we are once again with this uh, Royal Enfield Olympic 250 and I've put an order in for a couple of new um, cylinder base gaskets and um, various other little bits and pieces that I'll attend to while the top end is right off including a, a new set of piston rings and a couple of rocker box gaskets actually just to make sure that I can clean up and make that oil fight up there. I've managed to um, get the old um, botched helicoil out of the crankcase which left a hole with um, no threads left that would have held the helicoil, they were all stripped out. Um, further down the hole was a little remainder of the original thread size for the stud but not enough to uh, screw it into reliably so I had to do something. So I cleaned out the hole and I found a tap of a suitable thread to go with a high tensile bolt that I also found that would give me enough wall thickness to make a very very strong thread insert and um, that's it there. It was a high tensile bolt and I bored it in the lathe first of all, centred it up and bored it through and then um, cut it to a length just a little over what I needed and I managed to um, tap it out. But tapping out something like this you've got to really start it off in a lathe because uh, you very rarely if ever get it dead concentric all the way through if you uh, do it by hand uh, say with the vise and a handheld uh, tap mandrel so um, I, use the I put the tap in the uh, tailstock chuck of the lathe and um, put this drilled out bolt shank into the main chuck of the lathe and started off the thread cutting there and then took it out and carried on carefully by hand because being high tensile um, it's very tough stuff and I didn't want to break the tap or cause any harm but anyway I got it all tapped out and cut to length and um, I tapped a nice thread out in the crankcase for it screwed it in with some thread locking compound in there as well and the stud screwed into it with a lock nut on so I've been able to screw it down really tight and I've just sort of eased the, the face of it off with a very fine flat file so there's nothing sticking up that's going to cause any trouble and that just cannot move you can tighten that till either the nut on the top strips or the stud snaps but that is never going to give any trouble ever again that and um, I've got the um, stud here let's see here we go the only slight snag, well it's not a snag actually, but I'll screw this stud in and it'll be clear to see. Notice that the stud appears to be leaning slightly. It's not quite parallel to those other ones, although it's not too far up. But unfortunately, I couldn't do anything about that because that's down to the original uh, repair with the helicoil not having been drilled perfectly straight vertical perpendicular whatever you want to call it um, so obviously my tap followed the hole that was already there so that's what we've got but um, the barrel will go on there I'm sure it shouldn't be a problem so uh, the main thing is we've got a very strong fix and all the other studs seem to be in firmly so when the piston rings and gaskets come Hopefully I can put the top end of this engine together and um, that should be the last time I have to bother with it and uh, it should all hold together nicely and uh, hopefully not leak any oil anymore and it should run a lot better without that huge gap in the second compression ring as well to be honest. So uh, all round this was a bit of a pain but well worth doing. <laughs>